Alrighty. So yeah, as Brett said, this is a pretty cool implementation. Um, we've been on a bit of a hot streak with the you know conversion API for Facebook last week. Uh, this week, building out an integration between Zoho Books and a Stripe point of sale card reader. Um, this is a question that we get all the time. Um, you know, can I make a point of sale out of Zoho? And while Zoho doesn't have a like formal full totally full featured point of sale application. Um, this is kind of a way that you can use Zoho books as your POS and then process your payment through a Stripe card reader. So essentially, right, that goal is just that we want to be able to create an invoice on the fly, press a button, swipe a card and record that payment. So what we did is added a custom button to the invoice view page inside of books. Um, when you press that button, it basically takes the data about that invoice organizes it into the format that Stripe wants to receive it. And then we write it over to Stripe, which basically creates like an order record on the Stripe side. Um, the trick in how we're doing this is that we're passing some metadata that actually can allow us to connect the Stripe payment back to the invoice and the customer. So we kind of sneak in an invoice ID and a customer ID along with the data that we're sending to Stripe. And then once that Stripe charge actually posts, um, Stripe will send data back to Zoho to an endpoint that we've set up in Zoho Flow. Um, the data that they respond with actually includes the metadata about the invoice and the customer record um, that we had originally sent them. And so we're able to take that data, bring it back into Zoho Books and actually record the payment against that invoice um, once the card is read via the Stripe card reader. So definitely a very technical one. When you write it out like this, it sounds easy. You know, so press a button, swipe a card, and, you know, everything connects back. But, you know, when you're working with any types of payment processing data, it just becomes a lot more tricky, a lot more hash encoding, a lot more very particular formatting. Um, so big shout out to Alex on this one for building it out, as well as John and Greg, because I know they're a pretty big piece of defining a lot of this project as well. Yeah, this is a crazy, um, a crazy one. There's a lot of a lot of use cases for this. I mean, we've Zoho has talked about releasing Zoho POS, which will be their own point of sale. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to talk to basically generic. I don't think they're going to release hardware, but there's a lot of generic POS hardware out there for credit card readers yeah. and those kind of things. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, but they have an icon for it, but it's never been released. And we've had a lot of customers ask about this and there's really mm -hmm. never been, um, never been a good workaround or any way to make and, it happen. And this, this year, like it's, it's not a full POS system. It's not quite like square, you know, like suggestive cross cells and things like that, that some people might expect with POS, you know, you wouldn't be able to accept tips through this right. very easily, but, um, it does give you that ability really where like, if I'm on site for something, I want to quickly create an invoice, show it to the customer, press a button, swipe their card. You know, it allows you right. to do that in-person payment recognition without having to like manually key in all of their details every time. Yeah. I mean, historically, you know, you've got a couple ways. You can manually key everything in and run the payment inside of books, or you could send them the invoice, have it open on their phone, click the pay button, put their own credit card information in and pay the invoice. I mean, look, this does solve a lot of that. At least it's it's enabling that. I would think we probably want to do this with Square as well, since that's uh, mm -hmm. another big one that a lot of people... Yeah, their, their API is just a lot worse than Stripe. Yeah. It yeah. is a lot. It's a lot worse. All right. Fantastic. Great job, Alex. Big shout out there. And I think John worked with him on this as well, right? Yep. John and Greg and, uh, and Drew. John, Greg as well. and Alex. Nice team effort there.